a lawsuit is being appealed that I believe affects the entire content creator world and the ability for you to see quality videos. I'm James Fisher for Vintage Insight Photography, and on this channel, that's exactly what we offer, is vintage insight in both film photography and digital photography, helping you to do better photographs. Part of what makes this channel special is the ability to go to all these different places and see all these special locales. And one of those special things, and one of the things that this country offers up so well, is the beauty of our national parks and monuments. But there is a lawsuit pending that may forever forbid the ability for small content creators such as myself to film in these national places. There was in the past a requirement by the national parks to get a permit if you were doing any filming in the national parks, but for small content creators, it was never really enforced. That is until filmmaker Gordon Price was fined by the National Park Service, and he took it upon himself to sue them because he felt it was a violation of free speech to forbid the filming in these national lands. He won that lawsuit, and that opened up the parks for small content creators such as myself and many others to be able to film in the national parks. But the National Park Service did appeal that, and the three-judge panel on a two-to-three ruling overturned the original judge's ruling, and again it became a permit necessary to film in national parks. Now this is no small burden, because each park has its own rules and regulations. Some parks may have a $100 fee for getting a film permit, some may have a $200 fee, some may have a $300 fee. Now that fee is just for the filing of the permit. You send that money in with a permit, approved or denied, you've spent that money. And for a small content creator like myself, $100 or $300 is no small amount of money, especially when you're not guaranteed the ability to film in the national parks, which are public lands that we all pay taxes on to support anyway. As I'm making this video, that appealed ruling is again being appealed. But again, we're leaving it up to judges. And it's my belief that we should approach our senators and congressmen and get this codified into law that small content creators or even an average person filming themselves at the Grand Canyon that they're gonna upload to YouTube or to TikTok won't be subject to a multi-thousand dollar fine from the National Park Service. The best way to do this, I believe, is a letter writing campaign to our U.S. representatives and senators. In the description below, I've included sample letters that you can modify, print off, or email to the appropriate elected officials in your state. I've also included in this download links to the websites for the National Park Service committees, both the House and the Senate. Feel free to use these letters in any way you see fit. Modify them into your own words because I believe it's better if the letters don't all look and sound exactly the same. I provided these letters as a help and a starting point for you because most people have never written to their U.S. Senator or Congressman and aren't quite sure how to go about it. The letters are formatted in the proper format and wording necessary that you're going to get respect and you'll be listened to. Speaking of that, remember that our elected officials are people too. They're just like you and me and they're in a job serving you. It's often said that you can attract more flies with honey than with vinegar, and that's very true. I'm actually a former elected representative of a small community, and believe me, when somebody approached me with a logical and reasonably thought out argument, I listened. But when people yelled and shook their fist, you tend not to listen as much because nobody likes that. Nobody likes to be yelled at in their life, and again, our elected officials they're just like you and me. In fact, they could be you and me. The really odd thing about this ruling is that it's okay to do still photography in the national parks without a permit. I can go into a national park, I can bring my camera gear, I can set up tripods, I can photograph things to my heart's content, I can edit those photos and I can sell them and make a profit. That's okay with the National Park Service. But if I pull out a GoPro and film myself showing you how to do a photograph or give some photographic tips, then I've crossed the line and there's a possibility that I might be fined by the National Park Service. 
To me, these rules and the way they're set up are totally inconsistent, and that needs to be brought forth to our elected representatives in both the House and the Senate. I believe that they can codify into law something that's reasonable, that allows small creators with a handheld camera can go in and film in our national parks without a permit. Now, there are those people that will do stupid things, but then you make laws for the stupid people or the stupid actions that they take. Already, when you go to some national parks, there's some dangerous areas, and it says, don't go here, don't stand on this, don't walk there. These are all reasonable demands. And rather than saying, because people walk there, we're not gonna allow people to videotape there, but we will allow people to photograph there, is totally illogical. It makes no sense to me, and it makes no sense to other creators. And you may think, Jim, well, so what? So you can't film or video, and other content creators can't video in our national parks. Maybe that'll help preserve them. Well, it's a bigger issue to me. I see this as a free speech issue. These lands are public lands. They belong to you and me, the public. And quite frankly, I don't think the government which is our government and works for us, has the right to ban us from lands that we own. It doesn't make sense. There are properties. As the song says, this land is your land, this land is my land. It's all of our lands to share and enjoy, and enjoy in many different ways. So I know I'd really appreciate it if you just click that link below, download those letters, take a moment, fill them out with your senator and congressman's name, and send them off, either in an email or regular postal mail. That actually can make quite a big difference with them getting a bunch of letters in the mail. And I wanna thank you in advance for taking the time to download th these letters and send them to your elected officials. This really makes a difference and helps us share experiences in the beauty of our great lands and our great national parks to those who can't experience them themselves I'm James Fisher for Vintage Insight Photography. As always, thank you so much for taking the time not only to watch this video, but to download those letters and send them to your elected officials. It really means a lot. It means the world to me and many other photographers and content creators across this great country.